We'll head around to all the towns. Head away to holiday. South Aussie with cars is on. Sit down. South Aussie with cars. In South Australia we will go. Head away. Holiday. South Australia all the way. South Aussie with cars. G'day and welcome to another episode of South Aussie with Cozzy. What a way to kick it off on the cliff tops at Air Peninsula. This place is absolutely amazing. There is so much on tonight's show, I just can't wait to show you. But before we do, I've got to tell you, South Aussie with Cozzy, it is all about getting people out and exploring South Australia. We've got the best backyard in the world. I'll show you how to check it out without spending tons of money and I'll make it as easy as possible. Have a look what we've got coming up. We head off to the ultimate girls trip to the Barossa Valley in helicopters, excuse me. Warren Treadray talks about his love for the Murray and we've got your chance to win a free holiday to Hindmarsh Island. But first, it's the Bank SA $20 challenge. You know, we start every show with the Bank SA challenge. As you can hear, our kids in the background are clearly massively excited about this. But they should be, because we're making it the $20 challenge. I'll show you how you can entertain the entire family and feed them for just $20. Excuse me for a second. Come on, it's the $20 challenge. You should be excited. Let's get going. Right up, let's go. Okay, we've stopped off here in Hutt Street to grab this, the $20. That's all I'm going to need. But what are we doing? Well, I'm not going to tell you just yet. I'm off to the shops to spend some of this, then I'll tell you where we're going. Look, I know that times are super tough right now, not just for families, but for absolutely everyone with bills and expenses, and man, it's just endless. So I thought I'd show everyone just how much you can do for the very small sum of $20. We've rolled into the Mitcham Reserve playground and park area. Why? Because we're gonna have a good old fashioned family sausage sizzle. Bought the snags, bought the bread. It's so cheap, it's easy. I'm gonna entertain the kids and feed them all at once. And we bought our new little dog, Tiffany. Alrighty, now that I've mentioned our new little puppy dog in the TV show, she becomes a tax deduction. Tick. Hey, when's the last time you used a public barbecue? Might have been a while. Mitcham Reserve is the best public barbecue area around my place. Sometimes it's just great to get out of the house for a change of scenery, plus eating at a public barbecue site is way cheaper than buying food at a restaurant. I've come here to cook a jolly sausage sizzle. I didn't know this place was that good. People are actually getting married here, like Sarah and Tyson. Mate, congratulations. Thank you. So why did you guys choose here? Oh, just lovely backdrops and got the bridge behind us and lots of lovely trees. Yeah, and how was the wedding? Was it good? It was beautiful. Is it everything you'd hoped for? Yeah, yeah, and more. And more. Oh, yeah. And where's the honeymoon? We're going to Hawaii for two weeks. Hey, hey, so. hey, we're promoting people travelling in South Australia, oh, guys. Sorry. You're going to uh, Butte, South Australia. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. All right, well, congratulations, mate. Well Thank done, you. Sarah. You look divine. Thank you. I'm going to end this because it's actually really awkward because Sarah and I used to date back in high school. So, uh, so sorry. <laughs> I'm cooking a sausage scissor if you want, Mum. Oh, we'll be right yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mitcham Reserve is an absolute ripper of a spot. There's a creek running right through the middle of it, two awesome bridges, there's gum trees throughout, and even a rotunda for those that love rotundas. Hey, by the way, let me know where's the best public barbecue area near your place. Request me as a friend on Facebook and let me know. Best public barbecue area? Where is it? We could do a story there one day. Okay, we're gonna wrap up the Bank SA $20 challenge, trying to entertain the whole family and feed them for under $20. Let's see how we went. Okay, look, this one's a little bit of a no-brainer. We had some El Cheapo snags that cost us 12, about 12 bucks. Uh, a loaf of bread was two bucks. Onion were $1.50. Our new little cavoodle puppy, Tiffany, cost $550. Although I guess you can't really include her in this. Uh, take her out of it. Sauce, well, we used about a dollar of Tommy sauce. Couple of bottles of soft drink, $3 for a grand total of $19.50. And that, my friends, that's a bargain. You know, I reckon that's super. Instead of sitting around home and just having a meal at the table, we've made the effort to come out, steal some bread and eat in this environment and it hasn't cost us more than $20. There's no reason why everyone watching right now can't find a public park near them and do exactly the same. 
Warren Treadray is a power legend, no doubt about that. He captained them to a premiership, thank you very much. He's also got three little kids and a lovely wife called Rachel. The whole family's mad as on the River Murray. Let's see what good old Treaders loves about South Australia. Uh, best South Australian country town. There's so many, but one I've fallen in love with is Murray Bridge. Uh, my wife's originally from Murray Bridge and um, now I'm lucky enough to have a bit of a shack up the river and try and get there as much as I can just because it's a life away. You know, I mean, you're only an hour away from town, but the beauty is you can get in a car within an hour, you're up there, you're sitting on your deck having a coffee or even thinking about going on water skiing with some friends. You know, the family barbecues and having a couple of quiet beers, for me, that's the life. You, know, it's the, you can live to work or work to live. And uh, I certainly made the choice to, to work so I can live. Um, and certainly don't want to do the other one. Well, the best playground in South Australia for me, I remember the old Monash years ago. Haven't been there for years. That's when I was a kid, so that's how long that one's been around. But we talk about the river, and I love the river. The one at Murray Bridge, I'll tell you what, it's a crack. It's down on Sturge Reserve, all undercover. Uh, it's all got bark around it. It's all got the bit of astro mat there, so it's not soft. You're not going to get injured. And the playground there caters for everything. Caters for young kids, older kids, and even exercise machines for big kids like me. So it's quite sad, but we live there a lot. G'day, I'm Andrew. We're out at Coffin Bay on a fishing charter. I've just caught this monster, and you're watching South Aussie with Cozzy. I caught this one. <laughs> South Aussie with Cozzy. Hi, I'm Jeff from Los Angeles. I'm visiting South Australia to go swimming with the sharks, and you're watching South Aussie with Kazi. South Aussie with Kazi. I'm here at Neptune Island, which is just off the coast of Port Lincoln in SA, and we have locked onto a heap of these. Trevally, there's stacks of them out here. Each week on South Aussie with Cozzy, we're asking you guys to send in your viewers clips. Now that could be your home video, it could be something you shot on your little phone, or some family photos. Just send them into the website, southaussiewithcozzy.com.au, and you can win $200 cash thanks to the Adelaide Arcade. Let's check out this week's winner. Brooke from North Haven has sent me in her photos of her and her girlfriends relaxing down at Glenelg. No. Oh. The girls travel all over South Australia and they're actually part of a group called the Autism Angels. They raise money and awareness for autism. Well, great work, girls. Here's $200, all thanks to Adelaide Arcade. You can go and buy yourself another bikini. In this episode of South Aussie with Cozzy, we are doing the ultimate girls trips right here in South Australia. What I've done is I've thrown the budget out of the window just for once, because what I want to do is show off just how awesome South Australia can be. It is ladies first, so we're going to start with the girls and we start right here in the Barossa Valley. Do you know what we're doing? Touring the wineries in helicopters. Oh. All right, ladies, have fun. Yep, it's time to show off South Australia. The ultimate girls trip is absolutely jam-packed. Right, we've got a group of girls flying around in chartered Helistar helicopters, visiting three wineries and having lunch with Maggie Beer and a chef will cook them dinner. This is doing the Barossa Valley in style. Look out Barossa Valley because the girls have rolled into their accommodation. Tonight they're staying at a place called The Reserve which couldn't be better located. This is surrounded by beautiful gardens and vineyards and how's this for a fact? Maggie Beer's place is just over there. You know, there's two ways you can roll into the reserve, one being by car, but that's kind of boring. The girls have done it completely different. Have a look at their entrance, entering in style in a helicopter. Now that is how you roll. Breakfast under the Barossa sunshine amongst the vines was simply glorious. People travel from the other side of the world just to visit the Barossa and to think we have it just up the road. The reserve is an amazing spot to stay. Hey, cheers ladies. Cheers ladies. After a bite of brekkie, the girls jumped in the chopper to visit their first winery, Hentley Farm. This is the ultimate girls trip in South Australia and we are travelling on helicopters. How cool is this? Well, here we are at stop number one on the ultimate girls trip. And I gotta say, how's this for a park? This is Hentley Farm Winery, and from what they tell me, it is simply awesome. 
Hentley Farm has a winemaker. His name is Andrew Quinn. G'day, buddy. Thanks for having us. Now, tell us about the winery. So we're a boutique uh, winery out here on the, in the western edge of the Barossa Valley, yep. based right here on the banks of the Granite Creek where you landed today. Yep. Um, and we really specialise in single block premium Shiraz and, and other varietal winemaking. Cool. Now, the girls are doing the ultimate girls' day out. It's for the, the whole of South Australia. What have you got in store for them? We specialise in, I, I guess, customised uh, tasting experiences and dining yep. experiences here at Hentley Farm. And so that's what we're planning on walking through today. Hey, by the way, what is this place that we're in? What did it used to be? So originally the whole property was a mixed farming property. Yep. Um, and this was the stables originally. Mm -hmm. uh, and the taste, the cellar door tasting is uh, the, the original cottage. And we've um, renovated it for the purpose of uh, functions. So what do you think? Yeah, great. Yeah, you can really taste it. Hentley Farm is a solid 10 out of 10, but we can't sit here and gas bag all day, ladies, because we're about to meet a very special young lady. Her name is Maggie Beer. Yay! It was back on the chopper and off to the Maggie Beer farm shop. This place is divine. Surrounded by a massive lake, Maggie Beer actually even farms her own pheasants here. Pheasant. That's a funny word, isn't it? They also filmed the TV show The Cook and the Chef right here. The ultimate girls trip has stopped for lunch right here at the farm shop, Maggie's farm shop. I'll tell you what, you've got to be the nicest woman in the world. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Wasn't I rude to you? <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, what is it you love about the Barossa Valley? Oh gosh, I um, have been in the Barossa for 38 years um, yep. and from the first moment I arrived I think, I felt part of a community. Mm -hmm. The landscape. The, the fact that it's so beautiful, everything we grow is so fantastic, but we are, we work together. We really work together as a community. Hey, tell us, we are doing the ultimate girls trip and we're oh. doing it in the Barossa because yeah. it's so good. Yeah. What have you got in line for our girls? Well, they had to taste all the patties. Mm -hmm. Now this is the chicken and quince jelly. And of course I had to be um, autocratic about how they did it. Um, and then they're going to have a pheasantarine in pastry and possibly, if they're still hungry, mm -hmm you know, some meringue and lemon curd and yeah. I don't think they'll go away hungry. And of course they've got to taste Collins wines. Oh, brilliant. Yes. Maggie, I'm trying to get more people from the city out into the regional areas now. You're a former South Australian of the year. Tell them why they should be doing it. Just getting in the car and driving to the valley an hour to an hour and a quarter, down south, even less. I mean, just being out in the countryside to where the earth is, mm -hmm. is, is just, on a, particularly on a beautiful day, yep. will give you so much joy. I don't know why you're all not doing it. <laughs> why are you watching this TV show? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off this show. Actually, I'll be out of a job. There'll be no more questions. Hey, I've got to finish by saying that uh, something I've always wanted to say to you, geez, I wish you were my mum. <laughs> Can I have just a little cuddle? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I, I just feel the way. Now, my daughters probably would say, You don't really know her. <laughs> Hi, I'm Diana from the Port Lincoln Hotel, and you're watching South Aussie with Cozzy. South Aussie with Cozzy. Mate, he's feeling crook. Yeah, come <laughs> up, let's do it. Right, this is a nanny guy. We're fishing with Coffin Bay Fishing Charters. We're off Greenlee, and you're watching this cozy. I'm not getting it. <laughs> cozy South Aussie. No. This is a nanny guy. We're fishing with Coffin Bay Fishing Charters. We're off Greenlee, and you're watching South Aussie with Cozzy. South Aussie with Cozzy. We're doing the ultimate girls trip in the Barossa Valley, chartering helicopters to visit wineries. Just for once, we're throwing the budget out the window, the chopper window, and showing off South Australia. The second winery the girls visited was Whistler Wines, which is actually really hard to say with a lisp. Yeah, well, Whistler Wines uh, uh, is a bit unique too. It's, uh, we don't have a traditional old stone building. We have a corrugated old German uh, cottage for a cellar door. Uh, down in the middle of a valley, so you can't see it from the road, but you drive down through an avenue of roses. Uh, lovely at this time of the year. You're introduced to our family, cut out um, corrugated figures as you come through there. Eagle flying in the tree, and uh, then there's kangaroos, uh, things for kids to do. There's not many wineries uh, in the Barossa that you can bring your kids to, but we've got swings and things. Run a lot of events and uh, cater for kids uh, at those events um, regularly, with face painting, clowns, all sorts of things. So it's a really family oriented wine. Try our sparkling Merlot. 
South Aussie with Cozzy is all about finding hidden gems that exist here in South Australia. And you know what? I reckon I've found a beauty. You could drive along Sepplesfield Road, which is that road just there, a million times, and you could drive past this sign every single time. But I say take the time to go and check it out because behind this sign, some of the most expensive grapes in Australia are grown to make the most beautiful wine. It's mid-afternoon, we've been flying around the Barossa Valley in helicopters, we've had lunch with Maggie Beer, and we're going to stop here at Gnaden Fry Estate. I've got Malcolm, he's the Hi, owner. Cousin. Welcome. Mate, it's got estate in the winery's name, it must be good. Well, we think it's good. We developed this business, having bought a small vineyard. Yep. Well, we opened our doors here in 1979. Well, with ups and downs and roundabouts and all sorts of things. Wine will do that to you, mate. Yeah, it certainly does. Yep. Uh, but we've managed to survive. Yep, now I've brought a, a group of girls here and I'm calling it the ultimate girls trip. Is it alright if I do bring about five or six girls through the door, mate? You'll be able to handle that? Of course. Yeah, yeah I, I can handle five or six girls, <laughs> but not all at the same time. <laughs> Your wife's got a close eye on you, be careful, oh, please. Yeah. Alright, Malcolm, without further ado, shall I bring in the ladies? Yes, please, Cosy. Right, girls! Now, ladies, we have a very simple philosophy here. You help yourselves to a taste. Ah. <laughs> well, if the glass isn't big enough, well, yeah. that'll get to it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could always find a bucket. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're about to wrap it up here at the winery, and it is the ultimate girls' tour. But what I love about it, the girls are actually learning something about the Barossa Valley, including there's more than 100 places to stay here, 150 wineries. Get this, 775 grape growers, there's only one Maggie beer. So to summarise the Barossa Valley, you could do it in one word. Fade out. Logie. Hey, I'm Jeff from Los Angeles. I came to go diving with the sharks in South Australia, and you're watching South Aussie with Kazi. South Aussie with Kazi. Hi, I'm Steve from Swim of the Tuna in Port Lincoln, and you're watching South Aussie with Kazi. South Aussie with Kazi. Normally on South Aussie with Cozzy, we are super budget conscious, but this time we're showing off SA, sparing no expense whatsoever, chartering helicopters and visiting wineries in the Barossa Valley. Look, at the risk of the girls having too much fun, I decided to scare my beautiful wife with a lizard. Check this out. Wine bottle in one hand, little lizard in the other. Action. Oh, f <laughs> what? If you're heading to the Barossa Valley, one place you should look to stay is where we stayed at the Reserve. It truly is a luxury retreat in the heart of the Barossa. Beautiful gardens, heaps of lawn, the girls absolutely love this place. I caught up with the Reserve's manager, Simon. Now tell us, for someone that's never been to the Reserve before, what is it? Well basically, it's a home set on six acres, you've got um, five bedrooms, three bathrooms, a couple of different living areas, the studio which is a little bit more separate and there's two rooms there and then the main house. We have a wine room, a spa and um, lots of places for people to sort of just go and do their own thing. You know the last thing a group of girls are going to want to do on a girls trip and that's cook a meal. That's why I've got Damon here. Now tell us what you do mate. I'm from Forties Cafe up in Angerston. Yep. So we won Best Pizza in South Australia and then Australia and then we come top ten in the world. So this is our cooking school for pizzas. We've got a beautiful wood fired oven out there and around about 40 odd ingredients. So the local ingredients from our local butcher, cheese factory and from the markets that I was at this morning. Brought them all over here and the ladies are now going to produce and design their own pizza. This one's for Kaz. Mate, no wonder you won best pizza in the whole of Australia. You had that knife, mate, you win anything. <laughs> you win a bikini competition with that. <laughs> yeah, well, good way to take them off anyway. Damon, I can't help but notice, mate, there's actually banana on that pizza. Have you completely lost your mind? No, this one is a beauty, Cozzy. This one is uh, Nutella base banana, and then we've got some brownies here. Oh. Uh, when it comes out of the oven, we're going to put some bacon, oh, crispy bacon, bacon, crispy bacon, yeah. the brownie, and then it's going to be finished off with some uh, Baileys. Baileys? A Bailey sauce. You're going to go find over. me curled up in that wood oven in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll bung it in. These wood fire ovens, we've had this one going for about three hours. Yep. Uh, we've had the bricks nice and hot, so now it's time to start cooking the pizzas. 
Here we go, ladies, your dessert pizza. The last one of the oh, evening. Wow. Beautiful. And then we just finish off with... Uh, oh, wow. Here we go. The, the joy. Thank you so much. Yum. <laughs> Delicious. Fantastic. Game, set, match. Well played. Three votes. Well, that wraps up our ultimate girls trip to the Barossa Valley. But hey, before we go, I'd like to personally thank this bloke right here, Shane Yeend, for not only giving us his time and resources, but for also giving us his knowledge on the Barossa Valley. The same actually goes for Simon Montana. Great Barossa Valley ambassadors. Thank you. I'm standing on the cliff tops on Air Peninsula just outside of Port Lincoln. I tell you what, this place is superb. Every week on South Aussie with Cozzy, I give you the chance to win a holiday package to somewhere in South Australia. It's all thanks to the South Australian Tourism Commission. Let's check out this week's prize. You could be heading off to Hindmarsh Island to stay at Boatman's Cabins. This place is divine. Situated in the heart of Alexandrina waterways. Sit on the deck and watch the boating activities, or better still, you can participate in them yourself at the Boatman's Cabin on Hindmarsh Island. Hey, how's this? There's over 400 great SA holiday ideas in the South Australian Shorts booklet. For your chance to win this Shorts package, then just register your details at southaussiewithcozzy.com.au and good luck. Before I let you go, I'd just like to dedicate this episode to my father-in-law, Barry Kennard, who sadly passed away from pancreatic cancer. Barry worked up in Roxby Downs. He was 56 and fit as a fiddle when he was told he had 12 weeks to live. It really makes you think how quickly life can be taken away from you. So do me a bit of a favour and make sure you spend plenty of time with the people that you love while you've got them here. And you know what? Make sure family and friends are priority number one and work and everything else is far down the list. Well, that wraps up another episode of South Aussie with Cozzy. But before I let you go, a couple of things really quickly. The Facebook page, request me as a friend, just look up Cozzy Costello. And also the website. If you want to win stuff, if you want to check out where to go in South Australia, southaussiewithcozzy.com.au. In South Australia, we will go head away, holiday. South Australia, all the way. South Aussie with Cozzy. South Aussie with Cozzy is proudly brought to you by the South Australian Tourism Commission. South Aussie with Cozzy. I like possums.